The tea weeder is an amazing lake weed removal tool, and it's one of the most effective tools at removing large amounts of weeds in a short amount of time. I'm going to show you what this tool is, how it works, and a few things that I really like about it, and two things that I really don't like about it. The tea weeder is a metal throwing tool made out of steel and aluminum. Now on one end, you have two rows of serrated teeth that are slightly offset from one another, and those teeth are what grab and pull out the weeds, and this this tool does have the capacity to remove the entire weed plant, roots included. Now a straight handle allows you to easily hang onto and throw the tool, and on the opposite end there's actually a rope used for retrieving the tool. Now looping the end of the rope around my wrist worked well for me, but you could also tie it around a boat cleat or loop it around a dock pole or whatever else you're throwing from. Now pulling the rope can be hard, especially if the weeds are really thick. So I recommend using gloves to avoid blisters on those baby soft hands. Now to use the tool, you just throw it in the lake. This is the area I'm working on and you can kind of see how the weeds have started to encroach into the swimming area around the dock. Now I target an area that has a lot of weeds in it and I use a two-handed underhand toss to throw the tool out as far as I can. Now the overhead javelin throw is really good for Olympic athletes, but I'm telling you that you'll get more bang for the buck out of the two-handed granny style underhanded throw. It's more accurate and the tool will actually go farther. I promise. Now once the tool hits the water, you want to give it a few seconds to sink to the bottom before pulling it back in. All you have to do is pull it back in using the rope that's attached to your wrist. It's pretty simple. Now this tool is absolutely amazing at removing lots of weeds really, really quickly. And that's really the tool's strong suit. That's its number one thing. It's so fast. I've used a lot of weed removal tools. Nothing that I've used removes giant piles of lake weeds like the tea weeder does. And heavy, dense weed coverage is where this tool really shines. And you can see in just a few throws, I have an entire wheelbarrow full of lake weeds. Now looking out into the water, you can kind of see the path that I've made already because the results are so dramatic. Now if your weed coverage is really thick and dense, I would recommend using shorter tosses so that you're pulling in less weeds because the big heavy loads of weeds get really, really heavy really, really quickly and it can be kind of hard to pull them out. So start small, work your way up. I was really impressed by how quickly this tool worked to remove large amounts of weeds. I mean, I was just totally blown away. You can see in some of the clips, as I'm pulling the tool back and retrieving it out of the water, the end of the tool is just completely covered in massive amounts of weeds just from one single pass through. Again, I've used a lot of different tools and nothing worked really as effectively and as quickly as this tool did. It was pretty amazing. Now, no tool is perfect, and there's two things that I really don't like about the tool. Number one, it works really well when the weeds are dense and thick, but I found it difficult to get an area 100% clear of all the weeds. Now, the first passes through are the most dramatic, and I use those for the video because they look the best. And it is impressive. It's not trick videography or anything like that, no editing. It does pull out massive amounts of weeds. It's really cool. But trying subsequent cleanup passes proved to be a little tricky. I could see that there were still weeds in the lake because I'm working in fairly shallow water, so it's not that hard to look in and see them. But when the weeds weren't dense enough, the tool just sort of pulls through them and it has a harder time grabbing them and ripping them out if there's less of them. So it was really hard to get an area 100% weed free. And number two, I have tried a lot of weed removal tools and my favorite tends to be the razor type cutting tools. Now the downside of those tools is that it leaves a mess in the water. All the trimmings kind of float to the surface and you got to go back and pick them up. And what I was hoping with the tea weeder was that because it collected the weeds as it pulled them out, that I wouldn't have any cleanup afterwards. But I was disappointed to find that after using the tea weeder, there's still plenty of partially cut weeds and trimmings and stuff just kind of floating around in the water. And it's still just kind of a messy process that kind of involves some cleanup afterwards. Now, no tool is perfect, but the tea weeder is a pretty darn good tool at doing what it's designed to do, which is removing lots of weeds in a short amount of time. Now, if you wanna get one of these for yourself, a guy makes them in Minnesota. I'm a big Minnesota guy. I'll drop the link for you in the video description. I have no affiliation with the company or the owner himself. I found this online and bought it because I wanted to see if it worked. 
And I'm also gonna include some Amazon links to similar products that kind of work the same way that the tea weeder does. So you can click on those links and check them out if you need more information. Now I think the razor style weed cutters are still my favorite weed removal tools. And I've got a video about the dramatic results that you can get with those. And you can click into that right here. And I also have a three step lake weed removal video that shows you how I remove the weeds, how I get rid of the mucky bottom, and how I maintain a swim area nice and clear, weed-free all summer long. You can click into that video right here as well. If you liked the video, and I hope you did, think about subscribing to the channel. I've got more content coming soon. Bye.